Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of MHP Gaming. I'm Hawk. I'm AJ. And today we're going to continue to make her play Amanda's Quest. Thank you for joining the party. Let's go on an adventure. Back into the Dark Lord's Castle. To face Yay. beings which may be light or dark, we don't know. AJ isn't taking the time to figure it out. She's just burning them to death. Yup. That's how I do. Everyone's had their pee breaks and is ready to go. I might need to pull over again. Okay. Should've gone when I asked you to. Oh. Uh -oh. What are you, a dad on a road trip? Yeah, right. Aha, fool. Being part machine, Ben is uh, fairly resistant to status effects. Oh. Did not know that. Maybe I did, I just didn't realize it, because I'm dumb. <laughs> Either way, if I mentioned it, it was just only in his little, uh, bl in his little, uh, book blurb. Blurb. E blurb is you numb. You know what, I'm gonna have that be the name for that, uh, Kraken thing there. Its name is Blurb. It looks like a hermit crab. Like a dragon hermit crab, Cthulhu. A Kraken hermit crab, so a hermit crab? Sure. <laughs> My god, I'm just jumping the levels. That you are. How's your money? Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, this is where the money starts rolling in. Found the wall. There's a wall there. Cat yeah, fight again. That's what they do. Yeah, good, they need the exercise. Yeah, they're fat. My god, you guys. Look at that guy. They're so cute. They're so cute in their evilness. <laughs> their attempted murder is cute. Oh, they're having a blast. Their tails are wagging and they're just playing. If there's no ears laid back and no abundance of hissing, then I'm not worrying about it. Browse again. Yeah. yeah, they forget quickly. Aha, it would have been smarter to attack you when you were fighting those other creatures, but I waited. I waited in, mo in line like <laughs> a good monster. We might be monsters, but we have honor. Wait, we not we don't? Oh damn it! Do you have honor and a penis? Oh, there's a throwback. Only people like, uh, what is it, late 2000s adult swim watchers are gonna get that? Yeah. Remember my, um, sister had that one friend who claimed his girlfriend dumped him because he watches it? Like, that was the excuse she gave, or, like, the excuse he said she gave. What? I don't think I ever heard about this. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm sorry. But yeah, we legit had that happen. Was uh, some dude claimed that his girlfriend dumped him because he watched Shin Chan. <laughs> I honestly do not remember that. Too bad, that was actually a funny show. It was hilarious. I was not expecting that going in. I was expecting like something stupid like that Milk Chan thing. Oh god. Like, who greenlights this stuff? Seriously. If you look over 90% of the stuff that comes out on Adult Swim, you gotta wonder how the person that greenlights things there still has a job. That's yeah, different types of humor applied to different people. Well, yeah, but some some humor is just bad, and that's most of the Adult Swim stuff. But some of it I liked. I'm not saying there wasn't any to like. You didn't like any of the things that I did. Well, you liked Aqua Teen Hunger Force. The first couple seasons were fine. I do not think they're even mustard. I didn't laugh once at that. And you uh, you liked Archer. I don't like Archer. Hey, Archer's funny. Now, the Venture Brothers. When are they going to bring back the next? Uh, bring us another See, season I didn't of like that. the Venture Brothers either. You never even tried the Venture Brothers. It looked annoying. 
you know what, the first season the animation was a little choppy and you didn't actually know that they were going to have a good story rolling, so I could see why that wouldn't hook you in. Yeah. To be honest, even I, like, even the first season even, even I was kind of meh on, but then, like, after season two, they really started making the story work, bringing back plot points and building to something, and that was when it started getting good. I find Lupin the third. Mithra Home found. Yay. Oh, yeah, everybody loves Lupin. I didn't. <laughs> I don't love Lupin. That's a... Mm. Eh, it's only a drop in five. Wait, does Ben need a Mithra Home? Yeah, I was gonna go check Ben next. Oh, right. You found a Dragon Helm. I think Sean's actually okay. All right. Yeah, I think save for heading to the right from here, you've checked most of the floor. That's what I thought. But yeah, as you're saying, you were one of those idiots that liked Lupin the Third. Lupin was awesome. Yeah. You didn't care for Cowboy Bebop. I liked Cowboy Bebop. I didn't say I didn't like it. The first time that I actually watched that throw, it was okay. But then after that, it's just like, never a reason to watch it again for me. Oh, and it that was, just goes was, to argue my point. Different good, types of yes. people like different types of humor. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that. I'm arguing that the things that are shown on most Adult Swim shows is not humorful. Oblong is funny. Oh, yeah, Oblong was hilarious. Oh, my God. Why didn't Oblong ever come back? The only good thing Will Ferrell ever did. I know, right? Okay, the cowbell. See, it, I didn't watch SNL, so... But yeah, but everybody knows of it. I mean, if I were to say, you know, you know, I have a fever and the prescription is more cowbell, you would know where the reference is from. Well, yeah, only after dating you for like four years when you finally showed me. <laughs> That's true. I had been with him for some time before he finally showed me cowbell, and it had to have been when YouTube was a thing and we were able to find a clip of it. <laughs> like an actual thing like you could access on your phone or something. Oops. Yeah, that's how long I went into life without no understanding the cowbell reference. And mind you, I went to, like, high school band. Or, I was in high school band, and they would make the cowbell joke all the damn time <laughs> because, you know, cowbell, it's a band. To my defense, I only waited four years because I didn't know. Right? But like I said, I mean, I, I grew up around the damn reference, you know, and I had no idea what the fuck that was from because I family didn't watch SNL. I never even knew what SNL was. Eh, SNL really wasn't all that great anymore back when you were growing up. Like, that was like the ass end of them being good. Well, like, that's my thing, is my family, like, just never watched that kind of stuff. Back when Sandler's current crew was, uh, like, most of the SNL cast, that was when it was good. And to this day, I'm still not entirely sure if that time Chris Farley went into the table, if that was real or staged. If you look, the looks on a couple people's faces when he plants into that table and it crushes under him, and it did not look like just, you know, a stage breakaway table. I still wonder to this day if that was real. It and probably was. It looked like the girl there was about to jump up and help him, and then she realized, shit, we're on my TV. Yeah, that's kind of how it's... Uh, the thing with improv is not breaking it. <laughs> well, that's not quite improv, but... It wasn't yeah. fully improv, but... It, like, it was, but it wasn't. It was one of those things where it's like... Yeah, they weren't improvising lines, but you had to go with whatever happened. Yeah, it was a lot. Even if that means that someone fucking took out a table, you know? You just went. Uh, I feel like there's a name for it, actually. Potentially disastrous? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm 
yeah, if anybody out there actually has any resources available or has even like heard credible rumors as to what happened there, I've never done a lot of research on it, but I'm really curious to know what happened that day when Chris Farley went through the table. I'm sure I could probably figure it out in about three minutes for you. <laughs> Damn it. All right, fine, but... I don't know, like, I don't want you to do. I don't want you to break the illusion. Okay. Sometimes it matters where you get the information from. I can Google everything. Well, that's true. But sometimes that's not as exciting. Sometimes you want to find, you know, sometimes the hunt is the fun. Sometimes, like, asking online for somebody to bring it up to you. But see, to me, that is the fun, is just hunting it down myself. Yeah, fair enough. My god, I am craving chili dogs. That does sound pretty good. I think the gauntlet is equipment for Sarah. Okay. Yeah, sort of like in One Piece when the the crew comes across, you know, uh, Gold Rogers, uh, first mate Rayleigh Silvers. He's just, you know, talking to them. He's like, yeah, you know, I can tell you all the things you need to know. I can, you know, I, if you want it, I have the information. I can tell you what the One Piece is, what you'd find. Usopp's just like, oh yeah, that sounds great. Luffy's like, don't you fucking dare. Because Luffy is stupid. Yeah, it's like, this is my quest. You're not going to stop me here. Luffy's, Luffy's a J, you know, uh, uh, oh my god, <laughs> shown in anime, pro tag, of course he has to be exhausting and cringy as well. <laughs> That's like all they exist for. I kind of miss the shonen like, um, MCs, like, like, Yusuke, okay? The shonens that broke the mold, like Yusuke, you're a meshy. Yes. You know, like, Goku healing his enemies, and, <laughs> you know, Luffy being Luffy, and just... Oh, Luffy with Moro, or, uh, Goku with Moro. My god. There was times that Goku was the worst thing about Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, okay? Like, Dragon Ball, I'm neither here nor there for it. Like, I'll watch. All right, I will not watch the original Dragon Ball. Like, I just don't have time for that shit. I'll watch Kai, because they took all the boring crap out. What about Dragon Ball Z? Oh, that's okay, Z. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. I'm only, uh, I forget There's that... There's Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super. Okay, I forgot. I'm, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z. abridged. I'm talking about the actual Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> the one anyone ever cares about. Alright? Yeah, the one yeah. that first made it big in America. Yeah. Um, like, I, I, I cannot watch the original. I have to watch Kai. Yeah. Because I just, I cannot stand the original. After having seen Kai... The original, like, I it's still exhausting. like it. No, but, I still like it. I am the old school Dragon Ball fan. I grew up on that show. That shaped, like, probably about... Totally didn't. That shaped about 40% of, my, of who I probably am today. But it after just... Kai, yeah, after Kai came out, I fully agree. It needed some sh uh, some trimming. I don't think we have music yet. Ugh, I thought I fixed that. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, yep, I just heard a piano. Um, But, yeah, it's just... Yeah, Goku was just sometimes the absolute fucking <laughs> worst. Oh my god. Yeah. I sure as shit did not watch that show for any Goku praise. If anything, I was usually just there for the Piccolo, okay? That's right, your favorite was Piccolo. My favorite was Piccolo, okay? Sorry. As a Vegeta fanboy, I will never understand that. Vegeta, again, was... He was okay. Vegeta, I would have to say, was second to Piccolo for me. <laughs> uh, you know what? Piccolo had the dad vibe going on better than that. <laughs> what can I say? I like a sexy dad. I don't care if he's a green slug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Goku. How many kids do you need me to raise this decade while you're dead or on another planet or whatever? Oh yes, Piccolo can raise all the babies. <laughs> oh, Piccolo can. He's a better mom than anyone else in that damn series. Okay, change my fucking mind. You know, I'm going to have to sit on your side of the table. <laughs> okay, and no one would dare bully one of his surrogate kids. <laughs> Don't you just... dare talk to me or my child ever again! <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty much Piccolo with, uh, with... Oh god, how did I forget his name? Nappa. Yeah. 
Well, I love how, you know, Goku puts Gohan in that situation with Cell where he's obviously in way over his head and Goku's like, nah, it's, it's fine. And Piccolo's like, you are going to kill your fucking child, you dumbass. Oh no, everybody's just like, your, ch your child will die. And then the Earth will die. And, Goku's and then like, further beyond that will die. And Goku's like, it's no biggie. And then it quickly became a biggie and he's like, oh shit, oh shit, I gotta fix this, gotta fix this. Oh, I can't fix this. Like I said, Goku was usually the worst thing about that series. You know, the longer the series goes on, especially now that Super is a thing, the longer it goes on, the more Goku kind of becomes a parody of himself. You know what's funny is about Goku? I don't even hear him in the Sean Chamel voice. It's oh yeah, Masako. Yeah. Yup. At this point, when I, think I When I think of Goku, that's the voice I hear, because he's just not fucking annoying. I think almost uh, almost everybody who's seen Abridged has, thinks of him with that voice now just because it fits so well. Yeah. I'll have a heat tap. Button button. Oh, life needs a muffin button. Ooh, we need to get muffins at Costco. <laughs> I, I need to get muffins at Costco. Mana water. Mana, 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 mana. I'm never gonna not do that. <laughs> a jellyfish? This is a weird assortment of enemies. And they're all flying. Oh, good for them. Ooh. Oh god, the Easter burns. One massive attack. Ooh, Luke. My god, why won't this thing die? <laughs> just just die already. Try punching it. Just die already. Like literal rocket punch it? I don't know. Just hurt it until just, it stops. I don't want to waste my good stuff on it, you know? Because it's not that hard. It's just... Not hard enough to justify using MP. Yes, exactly. You just gotta hack it down. It takes forever, but it's not exactly a difficult enemy to fight. Well, at least Luke's getting his levels. Yay. Good, he needs those. Stop slacking, Luke. Yeah, when you get here, you kind of have to level up. I feel like that's Ooh, a chest. switch. Nope. I know, it's just like a broken cone or something. Random Debris. Debris. Whatever happened to that traffic cone? Traffic cone? Spiky. Well, yeah, but... What was the association, the link? I just said that thing looked like a traffic cone. There we go. a game that involves you and your friends. I remember you guys had a stolen traffic cone that lived in Luke's We didn't steal room. it. We rescued it. <laughs> you had a stolen traffic we cone. We did not steal it. It had apparently blown off the side of the road and didn't get collected. So we rescued it. Anyway, that thing lived in Luke's living room forever. You know, it's probably back in his garage. I'm gonna have to ask someday. <laughs> he probably threw it out. <laughs> he probably just found it one day and he was like, what the hell is this? Throws it away. I go, so whatever happened to Spikey? Oh, shit. Spikey, no! Sean all of a sudden finds himself overcome with sadness and doesn't know why. <laughs> just drops to his knees, tears start running down his face. What's wrong? I, I don't know. I feel like something tragic from my past happened. <laughs> There's a disturbance in the friend force. Yes, yeah, sorry guys if you're embarrassed about me talking about your pet traffic cone. <laughs> 
no, I'm fine with it. I just wish you didn't say we stole it. Because that's an exaggeration. And, dang it, I, they, de they deserved it through how that, uh, that city treated us. If you're gonna call your town Hot Springs, you need to have some hot springs. Oh, that's where you stole it from? No, we liberated it. We rescued it from a ditch. How do you know someone wasn't gonna come back for it? Would you? I don't know, I'm not a construction worker. Exactly. So the town pissed you off, so you stole their traffic home? Liberated. Yo, someone's gonna watch this and come for you now. <laughs> Why do you think I'm stressing we didn't steal it? It had blown off the road, out into like a little bit of woods. It was never going to be uh, found by uh, any you know, appropriate uh, official. We saw it while we were looking around for one of these damn hot springs that should be in a town called Hot Springs. And we just decided, all right, this is the price uh, that they pay. This one, uh, this traffic cone we're rescuing comes with us. It lived a good life. It did. It, 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 it hung out with us in the living room a lot. It was it was a uh, it got pet it got its attention it, it, it was taken outside to potty. Didn't it hold beer? It was a traffic cone. How would it hold beer? You could just set the beer on the top. If it did, I wasn't aware of it. You didn't drink beer. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sick of these Cthulhu crabs. What is this beer of which you speak? This is a really exhausting dungeon, and I haven't even gotten into it yet. You know, I'm just worried we're gonna get a comment on this. Oh, hey, I actually work in Hot Springs. That was uh, my job to go back and find that missing traffic cone that one, uh, on one day. I'd spent hours out there looking for it. I was wondering where it ended up. They'd have to tell you what year it happened <laughs> for you to believe that. I believe nothing on the internet, I'm just expecting comments to say that now. Oh, I'm sure if it still exists, you can mail it back. <laughs> we'll just put it in an envelope. I squeeze it into one of those flat rate boxes. Just write an address on the side, throw it in a mail bin. Yeah, it's the final boss area. There's gonna be ooh, ancient machine part found. Ooh, what do I do with those again? Uh, that one you would need to take that back. What? Just had a cold chill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I offended you or something. It's no, like, no, wow, I that's pretty good for me. Chill. Uh, that you take back to Ben's workshop or his project. I am not going back for that shit. Well, you're gonna leave here eventually. It's the final dungeon. Alrighty. Alright, I need to explore a little more, so fuck these fights. That's fair. Like, I just want to walk around in peace so I can figure out where the hell I'm going. Again, that's my problem with really high encounter rates like this, is it just knocks me off my bearings. I can't even focus on where the hell I'm going and exploring the dungeon and finding it out. Because I keep getting interrupted by fights. Like, it's just like, it, it's like hitting a brick you can't, wall. You just can't build that map in yeah. your head. It, it's like a brick wall for my brain every single time. So that's why I absolutely hate obscenely high encounters and dungeons. And part of it is, is because eventually I just ooh, get a little done with the fights. But the other part is just because it's just so intrusive to my thought process. Sorry about that. I, I can probably make it a little, uh, the encounter rate a little lower in here, but this is the lowest in the game. No, I know. I and it's the you. final boss area. I mean, I wanted it to be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a problem with the challenge at all. It's just, it's, it's hard for me to find my bearings, especially in these types of, like, dungeons that are very open and cavernous when I keep getting my thought process interrupted. Yeah, also kind of my fault, considering I just didn't feel like building. I took the lazy way out. Woo! There's a storm front moving in. 
Yeah. I usually feel that in the form of a headache. Well, now you feel it in the body ache. Yeah. I actually do kind of like um, the route some games have been going in recent years when you actually see the encounters running around on the field and you can just kind of run past them if you're up for the challenge. Eh, I'm a... Or the, like, the strategical approach of like figuring out how to approach you know, the enemy to get a good advantage on it. I'm of mixed opinion. I definitely can appreciate you know, when they do that and they do it well. It's, it's got to be done well either way, but having grown up, like I think my first RPG was the original Dragon Quest on the NES. And then, like, almost every other RPG that had been released since. Like, I am totally used to the whole random encounter thing. I have nothing against it. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. But I can definitely appreciate the being able to take a strategical approach and avoid enemies when you want to. Yeah, like, if I'm, like, trying to explore, figure out something. And then again, like... A lot of those newer games that do that, and I'm talking, you know, games like Persona or like the Trails, you know, series, are the, you know, the two big ones that come immediately to mind. Like, you get a mini-map too, so it, it is a little bit of a gimme. Yeah, a lot I, can, I, I mean, I can navigate the old school games with its random, you know, unseen encounters and no map that shows you where you're going. But that's the thing is when I can do that just fine, but it's like when you get like two step encounter, three steps encounter, another step encounter, 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 encounter. It just throws me off and it's like and I just kinda look at it like where the fuck am I even going? Yeah, especially when the dungeon is kinda nonsensical like the way I made this. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why it's hard to just keep a mental image of these. Even I don't remember what the, these places look like. Mm -hmm. You made the game. You're the dev. <laughs> Technically, the game made the dungeons. I just filled them. Should play with RPG Maker a little bit. Try and work on that game. Sounds like a fun idea. And then figure out how to put it out for other people to play it. <laughs> you know, I think you can just put it up on Steam. I still need to figure out a mini game that I want to go along with my book. <laughs> I know it would also be figure fun. Figure out what side story you want. Oops. That's what's going to That was a good idea, though. Everybody needed it. Yeah? Why don't you use Leader of the Pack? You still need healing, and I want to see how much it does. Ooh, that's pretty good. What is that, just over 500 each? Yeah, thereabouts. No, um, I was gonna say, I could, yeah, make, like, a little side story or side quest-like game or something for my book, or I can just do a video game retelling of my whole damn novel, because... I'm gonna warn you, as somebody who has made an entire game and has not put a lot of polish into it, that takes time. I know, I know. Maybe it'll be something I do for fun someday. Oh, a second machine part. Ooh. Alright, let's restore some mana. There's some white powdery rocks spread over the floor. That doesn't seem too dangerous, but let's not take chances. I went all the way over there and it's not cocaine. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, Jay, always depressed. It's not cocaine. I expected cocaine, damn it. Don't give me those promises. <laughs> The div is Titch. AJ's autobiography. I was promised cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the woman who has never done a drug in her life. <laughs> but I can still make jokes because jokes are funny. Hey, I'll have you know, as somebody who makes a lot of jokes, not all of them are funny. I know, I'm pretty sure I'll get someone along with someone, someone that I know died of a cocaine overdose. I'm very sorry for your loss, but I can still make funny jokes. <laughs> We 
can't go through life getting pissy over every little thing, okay? That's how we get in the current situations we're in now with the world. Right? Let things be funny. Laugh. Ha ha. Offensive joke. Dark humor. Something else. Just need it. Moving on! Yeah. Alright, I saw stairs down here. Yep. It yeah. was an upstairs, I think. Yeah, dark heart and dark humor. It's nice. But it's also like food. Not everybody gets it. Pretty much. That really is a great meme. <laughs> it is. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, that was beautiful. <laughs> I had to, okay? I'm... I'm upset I didn't think about it. <laughs> Man, you know it's a final dungeon when you're fighting Lucifer. As uh, Lucifer? Oh, maybe. Hey, Lucy. Why does everyone call me that? And a lot of people say they love me. It's very confusing. No, that's why I need a book or something that has Lucifer in it and people just call him Lucy. <laughs> Stop calling me Lucy. I am the angel of death. I am the ultimate evil. Don't call me Lucy. Okay, Debbie Deffy. <laughs> Debbie Death Eater. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. Oh, great. Now we have a side story for Harry Potter about an inept Death Eater called Debbie the Death Eater. Debbie Death Eater. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the Death Eater that always wants to talk to the manager. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the Dark Lord Voldemort on you. <laughs> okay, Debbie Death Eater. <laughs> I'd like to speak to your dictator. Ah! What was that scream for? I don't like that. <laughs> that thing there, I don't like it. Wait, this didn't restore me? Yeah, it did. Oh, it did? Oh, yep, okay. Alright, so, wanna call it there then? Yeah, I guess this is a good good spot to call it. Alright, boss fight, uh, it appears. Uh, not spoiling anything next episode. Thank you for joining us for another episode of MHP Gaming. Like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Check our description down below to find our Discord. Head there to make suggestions for games you want to see us make each other play. Other than that, see ya!